dear learners, I, Trisha Dora Borua from the Bhupan Hazare School of Mass Communication, Krishna Kanda Hanik State of University, would like to cordially welcome you to another session, another segment of our online discussion. Today we are going to talk about the different types of news. And this particular topic is incorporated in the Unit 6 of the second semester journalism paper of Being Journalism and Mass Communication. So let's proceed for today's discussion. Today's discussion will be based on the different types of news. We'll be discussing about different principles of news stories as well as the different qualities of a good news stories. Now let's understand what is a news. News is something which is new. In fact, something that has a new quality to it that can be termed as a news. And when we talk about different types of news, there are basically two types. One is a hard news and the other is a soft news. Now what basically is hard news? Hard news, it refers to the up to the minute news and events that are reported immediately. A hard news story takes a factual approach. For instance, like what has happened, who was involved in that particular news story, where did that particular news story take place and when did it take place and of course why did it take place. In fact, hard news stories tries to you know, analyze a news story from a different perspective. It tries to analyze news stories on the basis of five W's and one H. Now what are the five W's? When we talk about five W's, it refers to who, what, when, where, why, and the one H refers to how. In fact, suppose when we try to analyze a particular news story. Okay, let's give an example. Uh, suppose a, a big massive accident has taken place in a particular place. So, we'll try to analyze who are the people involved in that particular accident. Okay, in the particular news story. And what exactly happened in the accident? How did the accident take place? And then when we have to answer the question of when, so at what time period, in fact, whether the accident has taken place today or yesterday or at what period of time. And when we need to answer the question to where, it means at which location the particular accident has taken place. And finally, when we try to question why, it means why did the accident take place. Was it because of some, you know, man-made problems or was it because of some other, you know, uh, other issues that might have contributed towards that particular accident. So, in other words, we can say that hard news stories tries to answer the five W's and the one H. And when we talk about one H, one H refers to how. In fact, how did the particular, you know, information come into being? Or what exactly are the uh, elements involved that actually led to the particular incident? In other words, we can say that there are other different other examples we can cite as far as hard news is concerned. It can relate to news in the area of politics. It can mean something related to the area of war. It can also mean something related to the area of economics as well as crime. So these are different assets. So these are different characteristics of what the hard news is all about. Now, uh, moving on. We can also say, you know, we often like uh, taken away by the thing like what exactly standard technique is followed when writing a hard news story. Because it's very easy to say that this is a hard news, the other is a soft news. We'll come later in a, in a, uh, about the, what exactly soft news is all about. But for the time being, let's talk about what hard news, what technique is followed while writing a hard news story. Now, for different medias, different standard technique is followed. Okay, now as far as print media is concerned, we follow the inverted pyramid style where the most important elements or the most important parts of a news story are placed in the beginning of the story and the lesser important ones are placed towards the end. This is what an inverted pyramid style is known as and hard news stories follow this particular pyramid style. Now, in case of broadcast media, the less inform important information is left out. Okay, it's not given towards the end of the story or in the beginning of the story, but it is left out. Instead, in case of broadcast reporting, it follows a square format. Okay, what does it mean, a square format? It means that the information remains the same all throughout the story. Okay, 
there is neither a inverted pyramid style or a pyramid style but it's a square format suppose uh, someone is narrating a, a, a visit of a you know important celebrity has come to a particular place or maybe a you know someone from the ministry has come to inaugurate a particular occasion okay so when the particular reporter or the particular anchor will be covering that particular news story he or she won't you know try to show that okay the important elements or the important parts of the news story will be given in the beginning or the lesser important will be given in the end no that is not how in broadcast media the hard news story is broadcast in fact they'll try to follow a square format where the particular narrator will narrate the entire incident or the entire news story from the beginning to the end in the same format or in the there will be you know the information level will be the same there won't be something which is very important or something which will be less important okay so that is how in case of broadcast media uh, you know the the hard news stories is being broadcast and uh, the hard news writing the style which i am talking about right now is usually followed while writing news about important public events so which i have just mentioned that usually you know most of the important events like any something like uh, any about any government functionaries maybe there is a visit by you know uh, someone from outside of the country has come it would you know get some occasion or maybe some uh, focusing on some international events or maybe it might relate to some of the economic and social affairs something related to crime something related to science and technology something related to environment so all these different types you know of uh, areas are being covered by the hard news writing style now there are basically three types of coverage that falls under the hard news story so we have been talking about like what hard news is all about that uh, you know it basically answers the five five w's and one h and uh, it also talks about you know covering important uh, news stories not something like you know something uh, related to human interest stories so we have talked about all that but what are the different types of coverage that actually falls under the umbrella of hard news story so basically the three types one is a spot coverage the other is a depth coverage and another one is the enterprise coverage now what is spot coverage now when we talk about spot coverage it means like you know uh, you try to cover the particular news story from the spot itself from the field itself okay so for example you know like uh, suppose a big incident happened you know maybe uh, a fire has taken place somewhere or maybe there has been some election rally in some places or maybe you know uh, there was a huge accident in one place involving some other people so those will fall under spot news stories okay so spot news is one of the coverage that falls under the hard news domain another one important you know type of coverage that we can talk about is a depth coverage now what is depth coverage it is that form of hard news that goes beyond the spot developments or that goes beyond spot coverage and it basically mainly focuses on events uh, you know where you try to unearth the story the new story try to cover the new story from a different perspective okay you know it's a very descriptive kind of uh, you know way in which you are trying to focus a particular new story there is a, there is depth in that particular new story i mean in other words you provide all the details all explanation in a broader way you don't leave out any kind of explanation whether that explanation or whether that, whether that information may be in less important or whether the information might be more important then there is another form of coverage which is known as enterprise coverage now from the term itself we can make out enterprise basically talks about the person who is collecting the particular news story or the person who is trying to you know unearth or trying to gather the particular information for you know to broadcast it or maybe to print it in different form should be very much enterprising enterprising in means that they should know or they sh he or should be able to understand how they can at best take that particular information extract that information and try to you know bring that particular information in front of the people either through print media or through broadcast media so it it basically shows the enterprising ability of the person who is collecting the particular news story okay i mean it doesn't only mean that the person has to go to the field you know collect the news stories from the field itself you know 
it's not only about that but enterprise coverage also includes you know you are trying to you know utilize different technical tools and techniques in order to get the particular news story in the best format as possible like you know for instance i can cite out like you know during the 1991 war in iraq cnn one of the biggest uh, broadcasters in the world they led an early coverage of the coalition war against iraq how how were they able to do that because they had planned it months earlier so they there was a lot of planning going on in the particular news studio that how they'll be covering that particular war what in what stories they'll be covering you know so what backup system they'll be having because you know when you go to a when you go for war reporting when you go for conflict reporting a lot of issues come to the forefront so one needs to be very much careful one needs to be very much prepared for covering such kind of news stories so what did cnn do they had a very you know uh, a, a big massive backup communication system in place because you know when you try to cover new stories especially from the war front there is every possibility of the network going haywire you know there must be there can be breakdown in the network connectivity and when that breaks down then it will be very, it becomes very difficult to broadcast such kind of news from the war front you know that's why how what did they do they had a very big communication system in place and that was a backup system of course they did have uh, reporters at the field covering the particular situation so these are some of the examples of what enterprising coverage is all about i mean it in other words it it makes sense you know that when one goes for reporting or when one wants to uh, cover a particular news story one must be really prepared one must have a plan a as well as plan b in hand because in case plan a doesn't work out so they can actually depend on plan b so there it depends a lot on on the enterprising ability of the concerned organization or on the concerned person who is you know covering the particular event now uh, let's come to the soft news concept so uh, we have talked about what hard news story is all about like it basically tries to answer the questions of 5w's and 1h and most importantly it tries to you know uh, and now tries to uh, like uh, understand analyze the important news events that might take place that might lead to or it might consist of mostly you know uh, something related from the government side something any news stories from the economy of the country any news stories related to the you know society of the uh, this uh, the particular country so basically it tries to you know analyze uh, something which is a very important in nature something which might be very beneficial for the society in the long run that's what a hard news story tries to you know talk about then uh, we have also discussed about the different uh, coverages that falls under different news stories which basically consists of spot coverage dev coverage and enterprise coverage and now let's come to another important area of uh, news story or another important aspect of news story which is the soft news stories now soft news stories is a little bit opposite of hard news stories hard news stories are very hard hitting kind of news stories as we have already talked about and soft news on the other hand a mostly of very entertainment kind of nature i mean they try to entertain or educate the masses rather than informing them on different issues of course the education part is there and the entertainment value is also there so in a way we can say the soft news stories have that entertainment kind of quality to it and uh, soft news stories are very originally they have were synonymous with feature stories which were like place newspapers the television news cast for human interest the concept slowly the concept expanded to include a wide range of media outlets that you know present more personality centered stories okay so uh, you know when we talk about human interest stories or maybe feature stories like if you open a newspaper mostly you know soft news stories they occupy the space at the bottom of the newspaper that which is we call anchor story and maybe soft news stories you know can also be a follow up of the hard news stories how can it that be the follow up of hard news stories you know suppose uh, a massive accident has already happened i'm giving the same example so with that a particular accident you know when you focus it analyze it from the 5w's and 1h point of view it becomes a hard news story so maybe after 2 3 days you want to follow up on that particular news story and you try to you know focus on the lives of someone uh, you know on on a particular family member whose uh, near dear ones have lost their lives 
so you want to focus on their lives how they're surviving this particular tragedy how they're moving ahead in particular tragedy you know what the government incentives are so that is a kind of follow up story and this follow up story can actually fall under soft news story okay so uh, basically most of the soft news stories are emanated from the hard news stories and uh, now you know as far as the coverage of news stories is concerned if you go to the different you know either print media or broadcast media online media you'll actually see that that they actually try to balance the hard and soft news story why it is very important to balance hard and soft news stories because you know when you you know kind do a content analysis of different media outlets you know you have to balance it in such a way that it can actually attract the audience can actually make them understand that which as uh, news stories needs to be more focused and which news stories needs to be less focused that's why there has to be a a proper balancing of hard and soft news stories and um, and this particular balancing is also based on how they see the role in the community and how they perceive the audience's needs and interests and broadcasting stations are loaded with hard news programs in the morning and evening when ac- people actually look for wrap ups on what had actually happened overnight and during the day also and uh, you know morning newspapers they try to emphasize on basically hard news stories okay because early in the morning people are not in people are always in a rush either to you know go to office to go to the different education institutions you know maybe someone have some other you know obligations or some other assignments at home so it's very difficult to you know go over the different news stories be it either soft news stories be it hard news stories be it feature news stories so what actually can be done to you know garner the interest or to get to kind of uh, attract the audience towards a particular news story so usually they focus on hard news story early in the morning and of course towards evening it can be the newspapers or it can be other media channels also they try to report or tend to focus mostly on soft news stories why because towards the evening people when they you know they come away from the home they they finished a work at that respective you know place of work they come home they relax so they try to so they have that ample amount of time at their hand to focus on different soft news stories as such you know the most of the news channels or maybe most of the newspapers they try to especially morning newspapers i'm talking about the morning news channels they focus on hard news stories on the other hand the evening newspapers or the evening news channels or other different media outlets that tend to deviate mostly towards the soft news stories uh now uh let's try to understand the different principles of news stories now we have been talking about what hard news story is all about we have been discussing about what is a soft news story now what exactly are the different principles of news stories okay what are in fact what are different characteristics that actually you know makes a news story a very good news story okay the different principles needs to be followed now the first principle that is very uh, worth mentioning here is the lead writing okay lead writing it basically means that it's a most important part and uh, when we talk about lead okay lead is a topmost part of a news story uh, especially whenever that particular news story is put in a printed form okay and the lead in a news story it actually needs to have the entire information or the the main crux of the information of any particular news event should be contained in the lead itself and by leading the or by reading the lead paragraph the reader should find a basic who what where when of a news story it should be available there in other words if the reader doesn't have the time to read the entire news article because it's it's obvious because people are always in a rush people you know don't have the time or maybe someone might not be interested in reading the whole entire news story so what will they do they'll just try to you know analyze the 5w's and 1h which are usually contained in the lead itself that's a lead writing and uh, such type of lead writing is also known as a summary lead. in in fact you try to summarize the entire news stories in within the particular lead itself the another important principle of uh, a news story is uh, that is interviewing now what you know sometimes it happens you know like uh, not always you get the particular news story from the field itself or you go go to a particular spot or you go to a particular area and collect the news often you don't get the relevant news or information at your fingertips so what can you do about that 
so most of the cases you know they try to interview people people or the subject that is the focus in a particular news stories and there is an art to interviewing also it's not that you you go uh, to the person who you're supposed to interview and you just ask some random questions you know and you expect that person to answer to those questions it's not that you need to understand you you need to do your homework you know as far as the concerned person is all about because the subject of the news story should be researched thoroughly before being written okay because if you kind of put some you know uh, false news stories or if you're trying to deviate from the a fact and a fiction then that will completely uh, you know bring down your know, the quality of your news story so proper research is very important and uh, if you have to if one needs to go for a proper interview one needs to have a very a concise set of questions in hand and if need be that questions can be you know uh, kind of communicated to the other person which will be who who or she will be interviewed so that the other person might be very might not be very uncomfortable answering to those questions so everything must be handled very carefully that's the art to interview and there's another important principle uh, as far as news stories is concerned is giving quotes i mean quotations you know you you'll find mostly in some of the most specifically in uh, soft news stories or in other words uh, those feature stories and all you'll get uh, these quotations are being given and uh, quotations you know it's not something that you you give quotations from uh, from some witnesses from eye witnesses or you try to give quotations after you take those lines from some multiple sources okay so while giving the quotation it is not to simply tell the reader what has happened but to illuminate the facts that are provided by you know those uh, persons who have given those different quotations you know suppose you know you know uh, you like uh, you're trying to cover a particular news event there's a press meet being organized or being given by the government of india and they've invited uh, a number of media organizations to cover the particular event so the concerned uh, from the media organization someone is being you know deputed to cover that particular event and uh, after they go there so they cover the event and then maybe they they'll take they'll try to take uh, sound bites of the you know the person who has been giving the particular you know interview or who is trying to you know uh, or who have actually organized a particular media press meet so while uh, you know taking the sound bites from the concerned person the reporter might quote one or two lines as given by the concerned person so while giving that quotation why they try to focus it basically to just to emphasize to emphasize the importance of the event or to emphasize that okay such and such thing is be actually narrated by the concerned individual and nothing is falsified there is no false information involved that is why quotes are being given so there is that is the importance of quotes just to illuminate the facts that are already being provided in the news stories uh this another important you know a uh, principle of news story that is uh, headlines now the first now whenever uh, whenever we look at a particular newspaper or whenever we you know try to you know check out the different news channels our, our first uh, thought process of first thing that comes to our mind is what is the headlines the headlines should be very eye catching the headlines uh, should have that quality to attract us as audience you know you open a newspaper you open the front page of a newspaper you see a plethora of news and other issues being given on the a particular page so it's not possible for you to read each and every line each and every news story so while writing the headline it should be not only bold it should not only have a very catchy headline because as uh, you know as read readers or maybe as uh, someone who is trying to understand what what particular news story is we are very much attracted to those news headlines you know uh, that that has some kind of twist to it or maybe some, that has some kind of very you know witty headline to it it has to capture our attention as a reader as as well as to reveal the some sense of the entire news story so the first thing we do and pick up is that to we scan the headlines isn't it of course we do without scanning the headlines we just we don't go on reading the different reports because we don't have that that much of time also at our hands so the headline of news story it needs to be very much concise it needs to be very much specific and also it should be very much informative in other words it should be attractive and 
eye catching now uh, there is another important principle of news story which is known as the ethics now ethical aspect of news story now when we talk about ethics you know it's something that something is not new it has been there over the last you know two three decades uh, most of the media organizations be it print be it electronic be it online media organizations they you know they have a very uh, a set of ethics that needs to be adhered to that needs to be followed by the different uh, personnel working under different media organizations now why a lot of importance is given on ethics to maintain the you know uh, the quality of the news stories so that something which is not out of proportion is put into a particular news story something which is appropriate something which is based on truth and something which is objective so that's why ethical aspect of news story is very much important a journalistic code of ethics should be very much strictly followed while writing the news stories and when we talk about ethics we actually mean that story should be very much accurate should be non biased and also should be objective in nature now uh, let's come to the different qualities of a good news story now we have talked about what a hard news story is what a soft news story is we try to distinguish between the hard news and soft news also we have tried to understand how uh, there needs to be a proper balance between a hard news and soft news you know while you know trying to incorporate such stories in a particular media outlet also we have tried to analyze the different principles of news stories now let's come to understand the different qualities of a news story what makes a good news story we often keep on we have been talking about that the news story should have this quality a news story is you know the hard news story should occupy some kind of portion in a particular news story there should be some portion assigned to soft news stories you know and also there should be some principles to be followed but what ex exactly is a good news story okay basically a good news story begins with a strong attention getting headline the first most important part of a good news story is it should be a very catchy headline it should the headline should be such that it should be very much concise in nature it should be very much specific and also it should be very much informative in fact this is the first thing should be to catch our attention should be the headline okay then another important quality of a good news story is that it has to have an informative lead okay so when we talk about informative lead basically uh, it doesn't mean that that all the we need to uh, answer all the questions to the five w's and one h okay it's not that the the particular news story it needs to cover that who why what where when how all those questions should not be not it's not necessary it should be covered in the new the lead itself but at least some aspects or some questions should be answered in the lead in aspects because if that is providing the the proper lead then a person who is reading that particular news story will be able to get a better understanding of what the story will unfold that is why a lot of emphasis is given on the proper informative lead another important quality of a good news story is it presents it should present the information in order of importance okay it's not something that you give the less important news story in the front and the and the, the precedent that other inf information is given in the back of the news story it's not usually it's given the order preference for instance suppose um uh, some uh, uh, you know some government representative has come to inaugurate a particular function in a locality so the how the particular news story will evolve it's something like they'll focus on the person who has come to inaugurate that particular occasion and what is the uh, context of the occasion when did the particular occasion takes place you know what is the uh, you know uh, the idea or the team behind the inauguration of the particular occasion so all this information should come in the beginning and maybe later on you know the particular news story may might cover you know who the people have been involved how many of the people have participated in the particular you know you know maybe the particular uh, occasion or the particular conference so and so and so forth so in fact uh, you know the good quality or good news story should present information in order of importance and the important quality is that a good news story should use short paragraphs okay you know it's it's because you know people are always in a rush you know to read news newspapers or maybe uh, people are always in a rush to go over the different uh, you know uh, news stories that have been broadcast on different media channels so 
when you focus on short paragraphs and this is mostly related to print media actually not broadcast media because short and concise paragraph it enables the readers to get a quick overview of the news story within the shortest possible time you know you don't have to go hours and hours and or you can spend a uh, time on in reading paragraph after paragraph because th- that becomes a big deterrent to understand on that deterrent to you know it's become a kind of hindrance to understand what that story is all about or what that particular news is all about so when you write in concise and short paragraphs then the reader itself will feel uh, encouraged or will feel uh, happy to read the particular news story and the important quality we can talk about is that uh, a good news story is objective in nature and when we talk about objectivity what do we mean by that objective it means that you know there is no biasness uh, as far as the reporting of the news story is concerned the reporter or the concerned person has gathered the particular information has tried to you know broadcast the information or maybe try to print that information you know they have done it on the basis of objective reporting in other words whatever has happened on the scene itself without kind of you know uh, removing any kind of information okay that particular same information is being put forward in front of the general public okay in other words the journalist seeks to present the news in an objective way without reflecting any corporate or personal biasness that is objectivity in nature another important quality that we can talk about is that uh, a good news story it includes quotations from people involved in the issue or event okay so when you try to insert those quotation or maybe call as far as uh, you know television reporting is concerned we call them as sound bites so why we try to put them just to give or to, just to you know emphasize on a particular news story so that we can illuminate that particular point okay there's such a uh, event has occurred so we have tried to cover this event and so and so forth uh, someone has given his or her opinion regarding the particular event so a good news report tries to incorporate the quotes that is given by the people who may or may not be involved in any issues or event another important quality that we can talk about is that uh, it uses first and last names when first introducing the people involved okay so it in fact a good news story tries to insert the proper full name of the concerned person who is involved in that particular news story and then uses their last names only except in special cases so this this is especially true in as as far as print media is concerned or maybe in case of broadcast media also so in the lead itself or maybe in the beginning of the particular news story the complete name of the individual a complete name of the concern per except in certain cases when it becomes very difficult to reveal the you know identity of the people but as far when it's possible to reveal the identity of the people the complete name is being provided in the lead story itself and maybe in the preceding paragraphs only the last name is being given and the important quality of a good news story is that it uses language that is easy for most readers to understand you know the the when the simpler language is used the better it is for the person to understand because a good news report uses language that is easily understandable by the readers you don't want to use flowery languages you don't want to use bombastic words just to you know uh, you know to show that you are very good in writing english or maybe you are good in writing reporting no that is that should not be the you know motto of how a news report should be done in fact one should be very careful enough in choosing the particular words while reporting a particular news event because not all the individuals not all people are very you know uh, have the same ability to comprehend the meaning of a particular word so a simple language is the you know key to ca- actually attract the readers then of course a good news report is free from spelling mistakes and grammatical errors but this is a very important uh, uh, like a part of uh, you know whenever news report is being given especially in case of print media because you know if you see most of the print media houses print media organizations they have a separate editing department and the editing department at different levels so they are actually responsible to check the spelling mistakes to check the one grammatical errors might be there because you know uh, if you have such kind of things if, if without checking anything that is being printed 
and that actually catches the eye of the reader then that will be a big you know uh, kind of disgrace uh, to the media organization in a way or the people might you know feel that this is not the proper way how uh, a news report has been given so one must be very careful enough one must check the different spellings and one must be careful to check even the grammatical errors also so a good news report is actually devoid of grammatical and other spelling mistakes including the punctuation marks and the lastly the most important quality of a good news story is that it should has or it has specific detail in fact a good news story it provides a detailed account a detailed reporting of the event that might have taken place while reporting an event okay so there is a detailed news it's not that some news is being left out and other news is being given more prominence when some are being left out no, it's not that each and every element of the news each and every element of whatever is important as far as that particular news story is covered is try it's being given and that is being you know put forward in front of the general public so uh, these are the these were the different qualities of a good news story so in today's discussion uh, like we have tried to cover what basically is a news the different types of news uh, what are different principles of news stories and uh, of course last but not the least we have tried to identify by to analyze the different qualities of the news stories and uh, for further readings you can check out any you know e resources and there are other important you know uh reference books or reference materials have been provided in the back of your this particular unit from your study material i would like to encourage you all to go over it and uh, you know check all those materials so with this uh i would like to end our today's discussion thank you so much